What's up guys, it's Kato here, back at it again with another unboxing video, and today we have the Ficmax gaming chair. This one's for my girlfriend, so I got it in white and pink because she specifically wanted a pink one. It was really hard to find one. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I bought the last one in stock because when I looked it up after it was gone in this color, but you can definitely get it in a different color, and I'm sure in the future, or maybe by the time this video comes out, there might be another pink one in stock. I got it on Amazon, it was like $209, I think. Pretty good deal, definitely cheaper than mine. And honestly, when I look at them, you might not be able to see through this. I don't even know if you can see the chair right now, but when I look at the both of them, they seem identical besides the fact that they're two different brands. Everything looks the same. I already opened everything, it's all sprawled out along my floor. Every piece is identical. It seems they're made by the exact same manufacturer and just have different names written on them for the company that obviously uses the same manufacturer. It's insane. And this one was cheaper, so I might as well have bought this one. So I'm just gonna get right into building this thing. It's actually crazy, because even the instructions are identical. Yeah, let's just go right for it. I've already built a gaming chair that had the exact same thing, so even the packaging was identical. Like, I'm so confused. I think they're buying it from the same manufacturer and then just printing their name on top of it, or paying for them to print their name on it probably selling it to us for a third of the price they paid. Now, since I've already built one of these, I think it'll be faster than when I built mine. The first step is to get those wheels on. Hopefully I don't cut myself on these wheels again. I watched back my, uh, watched back my other video and realized that I cut myself on the wheels, so let's try not to do that. The base is identical to mine. This is insane. I'm gonna take a knee, it's crazy. There's sharp edges on the bottom. I think that's what it was, the bottom of the wheel here sharp edges, but you'll never be touching, but just know if you roll over someone's finger, it's going to do some damage. Those are on nice. For some reason, the tool you need for the bottom of the chair is in here with the armrest. It actually came with two. I wonder if they're different sizes. No, they're the same size. Wait, nope, they're not. Okay, this chair is definitely a little bit different. But I guess we'll figure that out later. What are you doing, Mundy? This cat's like trying to come into all my videos, bro. I swear. Climbing all over all my stuff like an obstacle course. Such a crazy cat. I'm so glad it comes with a tool, because this time... I really did not get my Allen keys out or get any tools out. I was just expecting it to come with one. And if it didn't, I would have to go searching for mine. It came with my chair, which I have no idea where it is right now. I'm hoping I did this right. This is the front of the chair, yes. I always wonder if there's a right and wrong way to put on the arms, because they're the same thing, just backwards. I don't know. They're the same thing. So I always wonder if I'm putting them on upside down or if I'm putting them on the wrong side I have no idea so I've heard a lot of people complaining about how their arms arm bars are really loose on their chairs a few different chairs both of these models I've heard that about but I haven't had that problem so I'm wondering if they're just not tightening their stuff properly or maybe theirs didn't come with a washer but these two chairs that I've got both came with washers on the screws so I don't think we're gonna have that problem I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the footrest on first because that's what it says to do. I don't know if this is going to give me trouble in the long run, but why not just try it, right? This is what happened when I did my chair too. That was a little crazy. I'm hoping this one doesn't have a slide out problem like mine does. That would be awesome. It's not terrible though. It's not absolutely terrible. Okay, a little bit, yeah. To get it right in there, it is a little bad. I can't lie out. little wobbly, let's give it a little push down. Still the tiniest bit wobbly. Actually, no, it's okay. I'm just being crazy with it. All right, let's screw in this chair. Okay, 
just a lot easier for me to unscrew things by hand than to get out the thing. They're really loose to begin with anyway, so we're all good. And again, like my last chair unboxing, I'm going to screw these screws in by hand first, just so I can line up the holes on the other side and make sure nothing goes crazy when I do that. Like I swear these are basically the exact same chair. This one feels like it has more cushion. I'm not going to lie. They could be the same thing, I'm just tripping, but mine seems a lot firmer, I'm not going to lie. And my girl can't wait to sit in this chair. She's been talking about it since I picked it up today. We were, uh, we were waiting for it in the mail for quite some time there. This one took a little bit longer than mine. I did order it after mine, but it was only a few days after I ordered mine. This one came a week later. But I was expecting that. It did say on Amazon that it was going to take a little longer than mine did. Now that that's all screwed in, I think it's just the covers on the sides here where the bottom attaches to the back. And the pillows, and I think we're good to go. This was way faster than when I built mine. Right? So I still don't know why I came with an extra Allen key, maybe for the footrest. Oh yeah, it's for the footrest. And honestly, this one was a lot easier to slide out than mine. And in. It's working. It seems to be working a lot better than mine is, actually. Again, we have a little screwdriver piece on the back, star head screwdriver piece on the back of the Allen key. This big one doesn't come with that, but that's because the footrest has no screw pieces and just so you know the box it came in again i took it out of the box just because i've been getting a lot of recycling around here and i want to get rid of it asap because of how many things i've been unboxing but this chair in the box and out of the box is quite heavy i would have somebody help you lift it especially the box unless you're like the hall bro i think you'll run into a little bit of problems pretty easy if you just take these rests and put them on where you're trying to flip them or maybe flip them upside down if it's not working out and flip them they pretty much look exactly like the piece you're putting them on besides the one with the lever and even then the shape fits on like the minute you put it on like look i'm not even holding it right now it fits on none of these pieces are the same either so you won't have to worry about putting the wrong piece anywhere unless you really just put the wrong piece somewhere but none of these pieces are the same. They all have an individual spot for themselves. I'm getting a little tired of cutting myself on these chairs. It's not bleeding or anything. It skinned me a little bit. I'm lucky this time. Just put these pillows on. I want to make sure that this leans back all the way. Yeah, it does. Ooh, it's nice. So when I'm serious gaming on my computer, though, I like to have it all the way up as far as it can go like this. So that I'm sitting real straight. And I do notice that I'm still kind of slouching in my chair, so I need to get used to that. On to the pillows. The only thing that has a logo on this, so if you really didn't want to have logos on your chair, you just take the pillows off. We got our trussy neck pillow, which is different than mine. Mine's a lot, uh, what's this called? In width, mine's shorter. And uh, length, that's taller. This one's really long and pretty slim. I know it did say girl's chair. I thought anybody could use it. I'm guessing still anybody could use it. But maybe they're trying to make things so that they fit smaller people better. Or shorter people. This one sticks on nice. I've been clipping mine into the, the lower, these two panels more. I do put it on here sometimes. This one seems really tight, so I just don't want to stretch it out. I'm just going to leave it like that. My girl's pretty short too, so I think this will be fine. I hope so. This chair seems like kind of like a short people chair. Make sure these straps are straight. This one also has the massager in it. USB massager, and you can separate these two pieces. And I think it's a cool function. I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but like gaming in that chair sometimes for hours, and I do still slouch over even though I have a chair that I could be leaning into. I still slouch, so my back does hurt sometimes, and I just test it out for, I don't know, something in my brain makes me want to turn it on when my back hurts, even though I don't think it's making my back feel any better. While it's on, it does feel better, but later on it's the same. Overall, this chair seems pretty dope. I'm just going to sit in it because my girl doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, this is... That neck pillow is really far down for me. I'm tall, though. 
the floor of this chair. Okay, there we go. That took so long, bro. I think something's wrong with the lowering thing on your chair. It works to go up, but going down is a struggle. I get, you, I kind of had to like sit in it to get it to go. This is a really short neck pillow though, dude. I'm not that short, dude. It's on my back, the back of my shoulders. I can lift it up though. I can like totally lift it up. The lumbar is not in the place I need it to be. This is crazy. This is definitely for someone smaller or uh, way shorter than me. I'm like 5'10". This is definitely for someone a lot shorter than me or maybe somebody younger. I don't understand. My girl's really short though, so she's like 5'2". So this is going to definitely work out for her. I'm actually really liking this chair. Once I'm sitting in it, the cushion kind of feels the same as mine. It's a little firmer once you sit in it for a little bit. Feels like it's just building up some firmness or the the fluff is kind of getting packed down, whatever's inside of it. Her armrests don't seem as... Actually, no, they're the same as mine. What I've noticed in my armrests is I'm kind of doing this a lot. I wish I had more cushion because my... I can even feel it right now when I do that. My arms are starting to hurt because I game like this, you know, like... I chill like this a lot, so I think I'm going to buy um, covers to put on mine. I might do it for her too if she complains about the same thing. I don't see her really using her arms on the rocking chair a lot, so who knows. But when you do have them accessible to you, it kind of becomes something you use. I really like them high up though. So that's it for today's video, guys. Seems like a pretty dope chair. Thick Max. It did say girl's chair, so maybe they mean for a younger girl. And, uh... But I think it's gonna fit my girl just fine. She's really small. This is the new chair. I'm gonna give you guys a little preview of what she's been using before I bought this chair and see why I got her one too. She went from this, this rocking chair, which has, I think, no, there was another pillow under there, but this rocking chair she's been playing games with right here in front of the screen, so low down to the ground, so I think she might raise it. But this rocking chair to that, major upgrade. Got the Thick Max logo here and here. Pretty cool logo, I don't know. I kind of like mine too, but her logo is pretty dope. Never heard of this, this company before. I did see some reviews on YouTube, but never heard of this company before. I'll be sure again, like I say with all my other unboxing videos, to give you guys a good review. I'm going to do one with that chair in a bit, but I don't think it's been long enough. Let me see if this thing slides out. Yeah, her slides out. Her footrest slides out a thousand times better than mine. So I don't think she's going to have a problem with that. Actually, let's see how long it is. Ooh, it's mega short. Actually, it's about the same as mine. And it's definitely not a footrest. It only supports, like, the back of your calves. Especially for someone like me. I think a nine-year-old child might have their feet sitting on this. Maybe even younger. I don't even think... I think a nine-year-old's feet would still just hang off the edge. Depending on how big you are, but... I don't know, dude. It slides out way better than mine, so I'm happy about that. I might get some, like, WD-40 or something for mine, see if it'll just have a little give. I did pull mine apart a little bit, like, the bars on my leg rest. I don't know if that probably ma probably did matter. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't really mind, though. It, it's a little bit much when I just want to flip it down, push it in, just get out, but... It doesn't bother me that much. I really don't use my, my foot rest that often. I am using it, though. I'm just gonna let her sit in this chair, guys, and I'll, I'll let you know how she's liking it after it's been a while. She was playing games right before I started making this video. I kind of made her get out of the way. And then I'll hit you guys back up with an update video soon. If you like my videos, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I reply to all comments. And have a good one, guys. Until next time. Wow. Oh. Dripping. Dripping. Sauce. Sauce. Said that I walk on the wall. Oh. Really won't. Lean it. Lean it. Wow. Wow. Hey, what you sippin', huh? huh? Post up, out front, out front. See all my goons in the yard. In the cut. What you want? want? You ain't one up from my squad. No, no. Double, double, double up. Be what you got in your car. Huh? Load that, load that. Huh?